actually our paper uh, is motivated to focus on less de developed countries, for example, China, India, Indonesia, uh, because we believe that the mortality forecasts for these countries are not necessarily the same as the more developed countries, for example, US. We want to provide some implications for those uh, insurance company who is looted in these countries or about to expand their business in these countries. So that's mainly about our research, was generally provided mortality forecast for the less developed countries. In our study, basically we have a three points, three main points. Uh, the first one is if we're looking back the past five decades, mortality history of uh, less developed countries, let's say China, you will see that the mortality decline of working populations that is below 60 uh, decline at a really fast speed, much faster than those of old population, which is above 60. And that, that is one of our findings. And if you believe or not that this, this pattern will not continue in the future, because this is because uh, the infection disease in the past decades, because we provide a lot of uh, basic medical care for the people, that is leading to this fast decline of the young people, but not old people. However, in the future, uh, also according to some research, that chronic disease will replace the infection disease, become the main cause of death for the uh, population of less de developed countries. Then the mortality decline of the young people might not be that fast, but the mortality decline of the old people might be faster because some promising uh, medical treatment for chronic disease, for example, for cancer, might be popping up in the future. In the sense that if we're still using the traditional model to take the old pattern into the future, that might not be reasonable. There comes to our third point of findings that we propose a data-driven mortality forecast m mechanism that can borrow the mortality experience from the more developed countries, for example, US, Europe, that we can generate a reasonable long-term mortality forecast for both young people and the old people. Economy implication, I think, is basically for the pension industry because the pension industry focus more or less for the retirees, which is old populations. So if we can somehow provide a correct or more reasonable mortality forecast for the old population, then I think it can provide a more reasonable annuity price for the uh, retirees. And on the other hand, can you know give more mortality implication or more reasonable mortality implication for the risk management that who manage the liability for this uh, retirees that is old populations. So that's I think is the more or less the direct mortality implication for those industries.